Hello, it is Tamika, a new me, 1109, and it's time for me to answer a question. So I have a personal message in my inbox, and I just want to take a little bit of time out to respond. Um, I always say to you guys, if you have questions, go ahead and um, send them to me, and I'll do my best to answer them. So here goes. Hello, I saw your video, and I really love what you are doing with different food ideas for that. I thank you. I just got my surgery on the 10th. I started on soft foods today and I'm so happy I don't know what to do with myself. I am down eight pounds, but I'm a little scared because this is my last resort. I hope it really works for me. Can you please give me advice on food and workout ideas? Anything, I'm open to it. Please keep in touch. Okay, um, I'm so glad that you actually sent me that message and I saw it a little while ago, was thinking about it, thought that I was going to answer it tomorrow, but I couldn't shake it, decided to go ahead and make a video response today. First of all, congratulations on having your surgery. The first thing that I think you should really do is write down your expectations. Why did you have surgery? What are you expecting to see on the other side of good results? Um, and then put that in front of you so that you know what you're aiming for each and every day. You have to know what it is that you're doing this for or why did you do this? What do you expect to see on the other side of victory? So I think that's the first thing that you should do. Um, and that's Coach Tamika talking. <laughs> now, um, back to your question. Ideas about food. For me, it's very important for me to have a variety of things. One thing that really worked well for me during the soft stage was yogurts. Various different types of yogurts. When I'm picking out yogurts in the grocery store, I'm looking for sugars and I'm trying to make sure that the sugar content is as low as possible and the protein content is as high as possible. Um, so that's my tip about yogurt. The other thing is I do a lot of, um, I did in the soft stages and I still do a lot of cottage cheese. So cottage cheese um, with fruit in it, um, there's packets that I get that are 100 calories. It's already measured out. It works out to be 100 calories and it's about 10 grams of protein. I try to take a picture of it and put it in the video so you'll see what I'm talking about. But I'm quite sure you'll be able to find something like that in your grocery store. So um, yogurts, cottage cheese, um, egg salads, tuna salads chicken salads that have uh, lots of moisture in it and when you're doing chicken try to do like um, thigh meat dark meat because it's a little bit more tastier as well as um, has a little bit more moisture in it so um, soft cheeses love baby bell cheese laughing cow cheeses um, all of those types of things cheese sticks once you get to the point where you can eat those things um, another thing that I enjoyed a lot in this phase that you're in is um, just different soups so I I played around with um, different types of soups um, beans like beans lentils one thing that I really enjoyed um, a couple weeks after surgery was I love Mexican food I say that all the time so I would take a can of refried beans um, put a little bit more water in it sort of water it down a little bit and then I take like some enchilada sauce and um, so I'd make myself sort of like um, some beans enchilada sauce and then cheese and melt it all down and eat that that was really yummy sort of like um, beans and cheese from like a Taco Bell or something like that but at home so that I know that I'm getting like fat free beans um, sauce that's uh, low in calories and, and cheese that that's, that's good and on my list to eat. So um, those types of things, chilies, um, lots of soups. So chicken soups, uh, they'll end up having a lot of protein. And if you just stick with chicken and veggies, um, not so much potatoes and rice and stuff like that because you don't want to start adding carbs in. Um, but those are some of the things that I 
like to eat in the very beginning and still enjoy eating right now now that i'm nine and a half months in i do try to stick with more solid proteins so that i'm filling up my pouch i'm able to stay full with a half cup of food um, and i'm able to eat that three times a day now, um, you know, another question that I get from time to time is protein shakes. And I just heard Bandit Wendy talk about this earlier today. Her surgeon, like mine, encourages us to eat our protein. So I was never a protein shake drinker. Fresh out of surgery, didn't ever get into the protein shakes that much. I do do protein shakes from time to time. In the mornings, my band is tighter, like most um, lap banders. And so um, if it's tight, if I don't feel like eating right after fills and stuff like that, then I will do a protein shake. And I'll do another video and uh, share what my favorite protein shake is right now. But typically, I eat my protein. So based on what your surgeon says, I know some surgeons say do at least one to two shakes a day because you're trying to get that 60 to 85 grams of protein. But there are really some easy ways to be able to eat your protein especially if you're doing Greek yogurts um, and I'll do another video about that too because I have a favorite little recipe that I'm working with these days that gets me 32 grams of protein in um, a yogurt and something else it's a little secret surprise that I'm gonna tell you guys about uh, let's see workout I don't like the word exercise. I was taught a um, couple years ago to replace the word exercise with a movement. So I like to move my body. So from time to time you'll hear me talking about movement. I'm really talking about exercise, but it's just a little mind thing that I play with myself. Um, I think working out and exercising, you have to figure out what works best for you. When I'm limited with how much I can move around, I always am able to still go out and shop. And so I'll, you know, uh, park further away, walk more, walk around the mall longer so that I can get my heart rate up and get my walking in. I love Leslie Sansone. Um, I hope I'm saying her last name right. She does the um, walk a mile and she also has like a walk a four mile or something like that. Those videos. She has a website too. I try to um, put a link in this video to that. Um, one thing that I really enjoy, I have um, AT&T U-verse and they have a video on demand. Um, section and there's exercise TV over there so you can always on demand um, at your leisure go and pick out an ab exercise or walking exercise running exercise cardio um, and do that in your home if you're just starting out walking of course my surgeon recommends at least 30 minutes of walking a day as far as exercise is concerned that is his expectation 30 minutes a day of walking so um, you know and my surgeon is actually the chief of bariatrics at the facility that I go to so he knows what he's talking about <laughs> so 30 minutes a day get yourself out get yourself moving um, and back to food when it comes to food think about the things that you enjoyed pre-op and try to still incorporate those things a lighter version of those things with fewer calories and more protein in your meal as you get uh, further in your journey of being post-op after having weight loss surgery don't completely turn your back on things that you enjoyed pre-op because you know that's the reason why I make the videos now with all of my remixes because there are things that I definitely enjoyed pre-op that I miss um, post-op and I don't want to necessarily say I can never eat the way that I ate before I can have those same types of um, flavors and seasonings um, and dishes and styles of food and um, I can still have those things post-op but it just takes a little bit more thought a little bit more planning to make sure that I'm um, getting enough protein in it and my calories is a little lower so it is possible to eat the things that you enjoyed Let's see. Um, I hope that helps. That's just like off the top of my head, a bunch of Rambo. But um, sometimes I see messages and I'm so passionate about it because I know what it felt like being um, newly banded and, you know, um, looking at videos on YouTube and being so impressed by people's progress um, and just sort of wanting to be able to pick their brains and I did have an opportunity to um, you know send I remember banded Wendy early on when I was first banded um, some emails and she responded back to me and just love that 
that I was able to experience that. So, um, I hope I help you. Another thing, speaking of Bandit Wendy, she has done an amazing job with um, C to 5K program, and she is a lean, mean running machine. So, <laughs> check out her videos on C to 5K, and at some point, once you get deeper into your journey, um, perhaps that's something that you can also try. I know that in the very beginning, it's a little hard. We need to heal um, and things like that, and we need to sort of start off slowly. But at some point, when you're released to full exercise, gradually get your body into um, walking and running. Um, I've seen it do wonders for people. So... Um, if I think of something else tonight, I'll make another video, but I'm hoping that that's helpful. And if you have any more specific questions for me, let me know. Check out some of the videos that I've posted um, with just food ideas and stuff like that. And maybe that will be able to help you. And also, I'm on Facebook, WLS Coach Tamika, T-A-M-I-K-A. Check me out over there, too, because sometimes I talk about stuff over there that I don't talk about over here on YouTube. And um, I think that's it. I talked a mile a minute. I thought he, I hope no, no, no. I talked a mile a minute, and I hope you guys got it all. And I will see you later. Bye.